Hi everybody, so this is the video on how to make the Caitlin puzzle, or any name puzzle, it doesn't have to be Caitlin, um, out of your scraps of wood. So um, you're going to go to your um, Glowforge app or whatever um, CNC cutting uh, system you're using, and um, I've got, as you can see here, a piece of scrap of wood uh, that I'm uh, going to cut onto, and then we're literally going to add uh, the artwork to the design so um, I'm gonna do a simple my son's called Leo so it's only three letters so I'm gonna do a simple um, puzzle with just Leo on it I'm gonna go into the capital letters and grab the L it's gonna upload to the system and then drop on to our design space here and then we can move that to wherever we want it and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the E and the O they're in the lowercase file and there's the E and that will take a few seconds to just upload and then we're going to go ahead and grab the O as well and that's going to drop into the, the file like so. Once they're here we can either leave them this size or because it's a short name uh, we can make them longer. You don't want to go too close to the edge because obviously this is going to cut uh, this out. So you need two pieces of wood the same size as your um, as your baseboard. You're going to have the base and then you're going to use the negative of the letters that you cut out for the um, for the puzzle part. And then once you've done the cut um, you don't want to um, uh, once you've done the cut, you want to keep the negatives and the um, the positives so that you can glue the two bits together. So here we go. We've got Leo. Oops. Let's just drop that there and select them all so we can move them further into the middle. So yeah, don't go too close to the edge because obviously we're going to need this bit to make the puzzle. And there we have it. This will then um, cut out and then you're going to stick this negative area to another sheet of um, scrap which is exactly the same size and uh, then this bit here this little um, semicircle is going to drop away that's for um, the kids or whoever is going to be using this puzzle to be able to put their fingers in to get the letters out um, you can obviously just turn it upside down but um, that works once you've stuck this together and the glue is dry uh, you're going to simply spray the uh, background with one color and then the letters can be multiple colors or the same color um, I would make sure that you're using a dark color for the background and light colors for the letters or light colors for the background and dark colors for the letters the first one I did uh, some of the letters were too dark um, for um, the background that I sprayed black so there's a little bit of uh, trial and error with your colors and so forth but it's super easy uh, with these uh, pre-made letters. You just simply drop in the letters that you need and away you go.